What's up, VC? My name is Kieran. If it's your first time tuning in, this is a vinyl update. So I'm sharing with you some new records that have made their way into my record collection. Hope everyone's doing well. What we got here on the turntable behind me is Eddie Gale, Inner Peace Orchestra. This is, um, I mean, most of you, are, if you're familiar with Eddie Gale, will probably be from the uh, his releases on Blue Note from the late 60s. Um, and I believe he played with, I want to say, Sun Ra, um, but I'm not sure, 100%. Anyway, trumpet player. Um, so yeah, all I knew was those... Um, releases on Blue Note. Great, great. Two really, really great um, records. Not the easiest to find. And now I came across this one. This is much later. This is from 1995. It's when it was recorded and released sometime in the 2000s. I can't remember the exact year, but it's on um, Sagittarius A-Star Records. So that's how I came across it. I was kind of um, browsing through the on Discogs the Cubico and Sagittarius A-Star labels um, and the releases that they've had over the years. Um, so this is number 38 on the Sagittarius A-Star. Um, there is a video by Seco Funk uh, where he shares and talks more about the label, so I'm not going to go into it. Everything I know basically is from, from that. I haven't done too much research myself. But this record's an interesting one. Um, it's recorded with uh, let me get this right. The San Francisco State University, um, I guess, band of some kind. Where does it say here? Um, music students from the University of Santa Cruz um, at San Francisco State University. So yeah, recorded in 95. Really enjoyed this. Let's do it a few times. This is what's on right now. Beautiful, beautiful music. So, I haven't bought many records recently, not locally anyways, and so I have some to share with you that are, that I bought way before Christmas, um, you know, kind of ones that never made it into a video that are here and there. So I picked up two records, um, this is actually more than two records, but uh, two, these two, uh, this one first, so this is the world uh, experience Orchestra, the beginning of a new birth, and as time flows on. So this is two albums um, in one release by Now Again Records, part of their reserve. Now Again Reserve. Um, I'm not a member, so um, I don't get the extra unreleased material. But this is music. Thank you, David Belson, for kind of um, hinting that I check this out because I adore this music. I haven't um, kind of delved into the uh, the booklet too much yet because there's quite a bit of um, I mean not quite a bit but there's a fair amount of reading they definitely have included some beautiful pictures um, you know Egon and now again always do a great great job so some you know private press jazz from the 70s that's near impossible to find or afford from I believe the boss I think there's are both from the Boston area I think they're kind of from the same um, same circles. Yeah, so you have Michael Cosmic on here as well. So I noticed that this one is the one from a couple years ago, I believe it was released, and um, they just re-released it as individual albums, but my record store ha still had this. And what I noticed when I picked up this one, which just came out, um, also now again reserved series, is that the pressing quality is not um, as good. This one was pressed at quality records. Even the gate, even the the gatefold is nice and is a bit heavier, or a lot heavier actually. And the the records are a lot flimsier. So I guess they changed where they do their production. But still, still a great release with the same type of booklet, filled with lots of information on the artists and the recordings. Um, so this is. Um, uh, Michael Cosmic, Peace in the World, and Phil Muser Group, Creator Spaces. 
just get that out of there. So yeah, um, this I prefer the uh, the film user group stuff um, over the uh, the Michael Cosmic is what I believe. Yeah, um, but it's all great stuff. Um, the Michael Cosmic's definitely um, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of musicians. It's a bit um, more intense of a uh, of a listen. Um, the creator space is, is a bit more, has a bit more of a tribal open feel. Um, but I definitely have lots of uh, listening to do there because it's some very dense music, um, not in a bad way. But I will be listening to those records for years. Just run through this other stuff I picked up. So this is Betty Wright, I Love the Way You Love. This is on Alston Records, soul record from the 70s, actually really, really um, enjoyable. Uh, what she does, Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers, a few Clarence Reed tracks. Um, but yeah, I, uh, cheap pickup and I really, really enjoyed this actually. So if you see this around and you like 70s soul, recommend that. This is one recommended I saw, I think I saw someone posted on the Facebook group and my record local store had a copy. The Joe Daly Trio um, from Newport in 63. Um, need to listen to this one again, but uh, definitely, I, I actually listened to one side the other day, but I enjoy this one. Um, not, I don't know, is it modal? It's not, it's... It's not what you expect from from 63. Um, it's a bit more adventurous. It's in by no means free, um, but it's definitely very interesting music for um, for the time that it was recorded. It's not just straight ahead um, jazz either. You know, um, from what you'd expect from that time. Very interesting recording. An artist I know nothing about. Guitar interludes. Joe Pass. This is the second press from later in the 70s on Discovery. Records, um, which is on the same label as this, actually, which I showed you guys, I believe, in my Boxing Day um, video, and I've listened to it a couple times since, and I love this record. I know Chris Cole, you recommended it. Um, I had seen Van post it, Seco Funk, but this is a dope, dope Latin jazz record. Um, Pancho Sanchez, Pancho on Discovery Records. Now that I've explored it a bit more, highly recommend it. This is really cool as well. You see a lot of Joe Pass records. Um, for cheap, this one um, is the one to get. It's not as cheap, it is more in demand. Uh, recommended to me originally by John Ra, the one and only, we miss you. And uh, our other brother from way across um, the planet, um, Andrew Champ Sound, formerly at Champ Sound on YouTube, had some copies for sale. So I treated myself and had him send one over. Really, really cool. Thank you, Andrew. Chief James Brown record that I kind of almost didn't pick up, but I'm really glad I did because I've played it um, a bunch of times when people are over for dinner and we're just hanging out, and it uh, is some funky stuff, as you'd expect. But you know, with the earlier stuff, I didn't know it was gonna blow me away, and it's uh, it surpassed my expectations. So James Brown directs and dances with the James Brown band, the Popcorn um, King Records, probably a Canadian pressing. Canadian record, Jérémy Ligagnon. I don't know if this is... Uh, ballet jazz. It's, not a, it's very soundtracky y in sound, but I, it might have been for a ballet by what I'm reading here, but I'm not sure. Uh, but this is really, really cool. Um, soundtrack you feel, cinematic. Um, but with like funkiness in it as well, funky breaks, um, kind of ranges in the sound. So this is on the Opus label. Um, I don't know how easy this is to find outside of Canada. I don't know what the kind of distribution was or outside of Quebec, but uh, dope record. Um, I got it for relatively cheap because it's not in great shape, but plays good enough for me. Elvin Jones, Genesis, uh, sorry, this is not Genesis, uh, Merry Go Round on Blue Note um, from around the same time as Genesis. I don't know which one was released, released first, but this is um, from the, uh, fr 
from the early 70s, I think a second pressing, um, and I can't even tell you who's on here because it's not said and I don't remember. So that's absolutely useless other than these Elvin Jones 70 records, um, the early 70 ones are recommended. So if you see them for a good price, definitely grab, grab them. Archie Chef Blase, um, one that I was missing. Uh, this is beat up, but um, I was trading in some records at the store and they had this um, for not too expensive. And unfortunately it's not as in, not in great shape, but until I find a nicer copy for a good price, this will have to fill the Blase spot in my BYG collection. Um, I think that might have been the last Archie Shep one um, that I was missing, always the great photography on these BYG labels from, uh, BYG releases from France, if you're into the free jazz. Picked up this, took a chance on it. Um, some really nice stuff on here as well as some kind of silly plain. This is Lester Bowie, Fast Lass, um, on Muse Records from probably mid 70s, yeah, 74. So you have, you know, the whole crew, Lester Bowie, Julius Hemphill, Les, Julius Hemphill, uh, Joseph Bowie, John Hicks, Cecil McBee, um, and then you have another track that's just Lester Bowie on trumpet and John Hicks on piano. Um, you have Charles Shaw on here, as well as uh, John Stubblefield, so yeah. Um, the whole kind of, a lot of people, as you know, from the AACM, um, family, crew, um, always uh, looking for interesting Muse records. Another Blue Note, um, this is an earlier 60s one or mid 60s one. Um, this is a 70s reissue of Down to Earth, uh, Freddie Roach, organ player. Um, also have Kenny Burrell on guitar, Percy France, never heard of him on sax, Clarence Johnson on drums. You know, pretty uh, standard uh, organ jazz from the time. Uh, not mind-blowing, but a pleasant listen. Wasn't one I would have been willing to spend a lot of money on to get an original, but um, a, in perfect shape, early 70s pressing for, you know, I don't know what it was, it was not expensive. $10, $10, $10-$15, Canadian. I picked up the Superfly reissues. Um, one of the, I have the, the fourth one, um, it's just not here with me, but yeah, I picked up the, the Superfly reissues. Um, the two Strata Easts, which, you know, this one, maybe one day I'll own an original, the, this one, forget about it. Um, and, yeah, I think, uh, I like this a lot. I think maybe I had higher, or I was expecting something different, but um, maybe some of the other Strata East Unattainable records that I've listened to um, online, I enjoyed more. But still beautiful, beautiful music. I know some people, the vocals, it turns them off. Um, this one's a bit more straight ahead. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm collecting that Strata East, and these will have to fill the holes. And most importantly is I get to listen to the music, um, how I want to listen to it. And then this one, uh, a French record, so again on Superfly, um, Nikuri, uh, Percussions, something I knew nothing about, um, had never heard it, but I know there was the, you know, a lot of people talking about the reissues, uh, they were released all at the same time, and I really, really enjoy um, this one. And lastly, is um, this Eddie Palmieri record that I picked up. This one has some heat on it. Um, it's a lot of music with the double disc and it being live, but there's some definitely um, some fire on here. This is in concert at the University of Puerto Rico. Um, and it's from the, I don't know when it was recorded, but it's from the early 70s. Couldn't tell you what year, but yeah. Great uh, live session from Eddie Palmieri. Not like essential by any means, but nice record. Um, so yeah, that's it. Just wanted to hop on, share. Hope everyone's doing well. 
and uh, haven't been buying as many records like I said. Oh, there's a couple more here. If that's not it, I lied. What is this? Oh yeah, a few bucks. Got this uh, Wilson Pickett, um, Hey Jude, on Canadian Atlantic label. For those of you that don't know what it, what it looks like. And this is not an original, it's a, I guess a later 70s pressing of his blues record, Magic Sam Blues Band, West Side Soul. I had seen this cover, you know, I don't know where, online and on record walls. One, I guess, that uh, is sought after in the, the blues record world. I enjoyed it. Um, don't listen to as much blues anymore, but I definitely still um, enjoy, you know, it's an electric blues record on Delmark, later pressing. Okay, that's it for real. Peace, guys.